What up, guys? It's a girl, Country Cowgirl here. Um, so, alright, I have been slacking on my videos, especially for today. I have been cleaning, 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 cleaning. Today is one of my better days. You see me last night. It was a very crappy night for me, and pardon me, I have to take my mechlazine, guys. Yes, I do the chewable mechlazines. Um, just makes it a little less pill. I have to worry about just swallowing. Um, but today I am going to try something to help me sleep. I have a very hard time sleeping. I do not like to take prescription medicine for it though because I already took enough medicine. So I'm trying something. Thanks, bro. Mm. Inhale back. health. I'm not afraid of a little bug. Huh? Let's get um, oh, melatonin. <laughs> Jeez, how do I? Oh, you let it get away. Oh, I don't know. I let it there you guys go. Mm -hmm. But, um, I've never tried these before. My mom's tried the energy one. Um, it works like a vape, I guess, except for this one won't kill you. Um, sorry, no offense to anyone who vapes. I just lost a family member over vaping, so I have a reason to say it. But, um, we'll try it, we'll see how it hits. And I'm also smoking, there's gonna be marijuana in this video, by the way. So that will be in the description. Sounds like my favorite anime ever. Really? It's my favorite too. <laughs> I can tell you and I are gonna get along great. <sighs> All right. Well, that hit very well. <laughs> um, it Stairs. says Stairs. the package said to hit it maybe like five times, sometimes seven, depending on how you sleep. I've only hit it three times, guys, and that was a hit. One hit. And you go to this blinks, you're supposed to. Um, I like the blue thing. It shows you how it works, and you have some odd hits, and then you got to throw it away and get a new one, which I think I might use these a lot more, because that's easy. I'm not having to take the pill for it. Again, I already take enough, so anything helps. Nah, we need book tape. Oh, okay. Um, great idea, bro. I know it is. And there. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's great. Did you say something? All right, well, that wasn't as big of a hit. Thanks, man. I don't know, maybe I hit it harder the first time. Oh, hey, so well, let's see the difference, this? actually. So, oh, baby, that baby, one I didn't hit hard at all. So, this is me hitting it hard. <sighs> Any trouble, Alpha Bro? Let me handle this. I got this. I'm getting it. So that was a bigger hit. Hitting it hard, that does a big difference. So guys who hit it a little bit harder, I guess you don't have to hit it as hard. I mean, it's just whatever. You're a bigger person, then it works. Um. I'm hitting it pretty fast, guys. Normally, you want it you just about two hours before you go to bed. Just hit on this a few times, and you'll be good. I'm also going to be smoking. Um, I'm going to hit it my last time, and that's it for this. That was fun. Do you want to watch another episode, Nina? Oh, I'd love to, Tom. <laughs> Oh, wait, shoot, I'm so sorry. I gotta head out to this concert. Uh, actually, would you like to come with me? So that's my last time. I like that. That sounds great. Not a nasty taste to it. It almost tastes like <laughs> razzles <laughs> to me. I don't know how I could pinpoint razzles, but it tastes like razzles to me. I really like it. I think I would recommend this. But I don't know yet. We gotta see how it works, actually. So... And again, I already said, you may want to use in this. So, I want to take you guys by my day. Today, I had a lot of energy. And I smoked to try and calm me down. It didn't work. I woke up about 6 o'clock this morning, and I have been up ever since. Straight cleaning. Non-stop. Um, and it doesn't look like a lot's been done. But I promise a lot has been done compared to how this used to be. I used, 
I was so sick that I kind I did slack off on cleaning, so my place wasn't the cleanest. Hence why you don't really get a big tour yet. Eventually you'll get a tour when it's a lot cleaner and my boyfriend can come over a lot more and you guys can see him. <laughs> um, I got my dog Daisy with me today, ladies. She is, and gentlemen, sorry. She has been with me all day today. I normally do not smoke with my dog in here. Um... But unfortunately, no one is home, so my two other dogs are actually in their inside cage. The reason they are in their cage, lady guys, is because uh, they get into stuff and they will tear it up. Um, the one's very moody, and if you don't pay attention to him, he will throw tantrum tantrum. Temper tantrum. So yes, they are in there. The folks will be home any minute. Um, but unfortunately, uh, they're not home now, and I'm really trying. Uh, I'm trying to smoke now before they get home. That way, you know, I can just be. Because it's been rough for the family lately, so I've been doing what I can to keep myself calm and level-headed, and, um, I will show you guys something as well that helps me stay on my daily routines. Um... My team is almost out, so I will be repacking this on this one too. But just to show you guys, and I am just working on getting things filled out so it is not fully done. I go and I do it from ahead, which I just started my other week because it is now Wednesday. Um, but I'm working on it. I do a whole, and it's always color coded. My whole schedule, always, is on here. I always, yes, I write down a lot of my take meds, take meds. Red on my number one importance, as you guys seen, is I have red on every single one on the top of these of every single day. Um, personal reason for that, I don't know if you guys actually believe or read that, but if that's okay, then that's okay. But reds are the very, very important. Blues are the every single day what I have to do. And then the black normal pen is, um, like, important, but not superly, majorly important. Just, like, stay on the daily routine of it. And then my orange is just the... Maybe if it's just for that day or something. Um, yeah. Um, by the way, Monday, November 11th is Veterans Day. Um, rem remember all of our fallen soldiers. I am early on it, but I say this now because... A lot of my family members have fought for this, con this country, our country, and if it wasn't for everybody who goes and serves in our country, I wouldn't be able to do what I can do today. I definitely would be one of those ones where, you know, I probably would have just... I don't know. I, I'm, I'm so sick. They, you know, if it wasn't for everybody doing what they do today for us to have our freedom, who knows what would be going on right now. So, I have friends that are serving right now. Um, you know, it, a very hard day for me. I had lost my grandfather. Um, may he always rest in peace. He served in the service. So I go and visit his grave every single Remembrance Day. Um, 
but to everybody who has served, is serving, or in the future will serve, and to all of their families, thank you guys so much. Um, it means the world. Because honestly, you guys really don't have to do this, and you go and willingly risking your lives for people who really do take life for granted and their freedom for granted. And you guys get tr mistreated a lot, or homeless, without homes, people who serve for the, risk their lives for this country, and they have to sit on the side of the streets begging for money. Nobody deserves to go through that. Why do you guys, who do so much for us that I don't have the guts to do, or I would never have the guts to do something like that, because... You know, that's just not for me. I have tried. Don't get me wrong. I really have. I tried to go into the Air Force. And I knew I would not be able to fly because of some conditions. Um, but I was able to go in for a lawyer, lawyer for the military. And I was going to do that. And then I got sick. So now I'm... Unfortunately, I will never be able to go to the military and do what I wanted to do. But that's okay, cause you know I'm I'm doing what I can do here. I try to help out as best as I can. I always donate money. I always send care packages for those who serve if I get the opportunity and am able to. Um, you know. Thank you. God bless. You're always in my prayers, those who are over there right now risking their lives. You know, I pray for you guys every single day that eventually you guys will be able to come home and we can resolve issues and finally have peace so you can finally be with your families. Um, so, yeah. Um, I... Really don't have much to say today, surprisingly. I mean, I showed you my thing. I have a coat. Ladies and gentlemen, just so you guys know, I have a very, very, very hard time remembering things. Hence why I always have to have a schedule. And I have to have one designated place for all important things. Um, social security stuff, because I, I have to have Medicaid. I can't afford health, normal health insurance like everybody else, so I have to have it by the state. Everything I get from there has to go in here. I'm sadly going through a loophole right now, which my insur health insurance is refusing to cover um, for my injection shot, which is in case if I start going into an adrenal crisis, they're supposed to give me a shot so I don't die, and we can get me to the hospital and not be dying, and my insurance has denied for me to get that medication to cover that. So I will probably end up having to pay this out of pocket, um, and sadly this is what a lot of people with Addison's disease has to go through um, if you guys do rely on state insurance. A lot of medica certain medications you will be denied for. You talk to your doctor and we will figure out another way for me to get this medicine. Um, tomorrow I gotta call my doctor about that. Um, and then after that I will let you guys know what the next steps are to do. If I find out tomorrow, if not, we'll, we'll take it step by step. But, <coughs> I wanted to let you guys know what's going on there. Eventually, when I am able to get that, I will show you. I'm not actually going to do it, but I will show you kind of um, what I, a demonstration almost of what I have to do with that and what it is and what it does. Um, like I said, I won't actually do it because that's only for... If I go into an adrenal crisis, and if I ever do go into an adrenal crisis, I will videotape somebody doing it to me, because I most likely will not be able to do it myself. 
that's okay. That's why that's there. Because if I can't do it myself, I'm almost like a, I'm going I'm in an adrenal crisis. And that means that is the means for this medicine to be used. Um, but I'm going to take up a little bit more of you guys' time. It's only 15 minutes of your day. I'm sorry I've taken up so much. I'll try to stop at 20. Um, I said I was going to reload this. I might not even have time to reload it for you guys because I was talking so much. Sorry, my throat's dry. My nose is dry. It's it's dry in here right now. I do not have a humidifier. Guys, I do recommend having a humidifier when it gets like this and cold outside to where you have to have heat in the house. Um, because it does get really dry and it can make you sick. <coughs> like I am right now. You know, I'm not horribly sick. I'm not running a fever, so I'm not worried. I taking cold medicine, and if that does not help, and this does not go away by uh, Tuesday, because my doctor's is not open on Mondays. Tuesday, I will be going to the doctor's if this does not start getting better. That way, we can see if. It's because of the Addison's that it's just not wanting to fight back this, um, back what's sick and infected or whatever you want to call it, but why I'm not getting better. And, uh, it's mainly because of the heat and then the weather change. I constantly have to drink water, guys, because it's so dry out for me. And, yeah. So, oh, water-wise, guys, if you have, and I've noticed this has helped me so much, get this type of water. It has electrolytes in it. It's not flavored or anything like that. So, if you don't like flavored stuff and you really don't like drinking Powerades and things like that, but you need your electrolytes, <coughs> I get this brand of it. It, um, you can you feel better a little bit better once you have electrolytes in you, and it's it's made a big difference. Um, I have like 13 bottles of this sitting in my fridge right now, and I just drink another one, and I always have. <coughs> uh, I order special big refill bottles worth of that water. So, uh, and that's specially ordered. You guys don't have to. You can buy them right at a gas station. They're almost at every gas station. So, but all right, guys. I have taken up 18 minutes every day, so I will let you guys go. I will be on either later tonight or tomorrow morning because I still have to show you guys my routine for my meds. By the way, the Meclizine, I'm o I only take one normally unless I still feel dizzy. I will take one at night because I won't sleep if I'm spinning. So that's why I took that so you guys know. And, oh, real fast, before I do go, guys, that melatonin is starting to kick in. Um, I'm really tired. As you see, my eyes are closing, so I'm probably going to jump off here, uh, start putting things away, and get some sleep, because I am exhausted. But if I end up waking up, if I can't stay asleep, I will do another video tonight. So... All right, guys. Peace out. God bless you all. Have a wonderful night or day, depending on where you are. <laughs> it's night for me right now. It's like 8 something at night for me. But, uh, and I will see everybody either tonight or tomorrow. Peace out, guys. Bye.